what to do when you're feeling low in confidence now most of the time we as human beings are triggered by emotions we are triggered by actions we are triggered by certain circumstances that takes our attention from whatever we are doing and makes us feel that we are not worthy enough maybe it's a past incident that you remember which triggers your brain to think like you already did that so why are you trying this thing right now you know you are not going to succeed you will eventually fail why are you wasting your time thinking like this something of this sort gets into your brain and your brain starts to think okay so i tried that before i shouldn't do it right now because i already feel in that uh, past time so how can you make your confidence gain back how can you make your yourself gain back your confidence and live a fulfilled life whatever life you want whether you want your fitness you want a healthy life whether you want a good relationship like imagine this every human being who's low in confidence does not achieve what they want you might have watched someone on the internet talking about any business matter or any video that you saw whether it's a singer uh, singing a beautiful song or or a melodious song you saw that and you felt the energy coming right at you through that screen you did not know her or him whatever it may be you did not know her so how can an energy be transferred from a computer screen or a cell phone screen directly to you and you felt that goosebumps in in your hand and you felt awesome at that moment you felt like oh my god this is the best video i've seen on the internet today why do you think like that and when you see somebody talking about like recently i saw somebody posting an ad on uh, youtube he was talking something like this okay guys so i'm going to talk about shopify drop shipping and what i feel is like can you understand this like who who's going to opt into any kind of offer that guy is promoting i'm not trying to brag anybody but unless and until you feel energized unless and until you are the one who's portraying what you really want in your life who the hell on the earth is going to or even any other planet whatsoever who the hell on this universe is going to believe you that you are telling the truth unless you feel energetic unless you feel charismatic it's not going to happen any time it's not possible for anyone to believe that you are trustworthy trust comes after confidence when you are confident people will trust you when you're non confident when you are kind of introvert when you're saying something like I don't know guys but I feel like this is not the best way to do it you should take action and try to do it um, that's that's it do you feel the difference like it's not possible right nobody is going to opt into my any kind of offer that I'm promoting whatsoever in the future if I start talking like that it's like robot talking to a screen we are not talking to a screen we're talking to human to human interaction right now so what can you do in order to gain your confidence now i have been through this stage for quite a lot of time you cannot imagine how many times i have felt like okay so early in the morning i have to again wake up again i have to take those yoga classes again i have to like go for the gym i'm i'm i'm, I'm like feeling tired i should sleep and re- imagine this like this is my exact situation last week i still feel this kind of non confident emotions coming back to me but when i start feeling that i literally just ask myself three different things when i feel less confident when i feel like i'm something is pulling back me behind from my back something is pulling me back when i try to feel that i i ask this three simple questions is it true is the situation that i'm in right now true i'm feeling not i'm not feeling confident but is it true like i'm not confident is it true like i cannot attain that is it true i cannot achieve that whatever maybe it's a simple goal like maybe a 5 minute walk in the morning in 5 am i, I just go out or uh, take my yoga classes yoga mat and uh, do yoga on my on my room so if i feel like i'm not willing to do that I literally just ask myself is it true that I cannot do it is it true that it is tough for me is it true like 
other people are doing so why can't i do it and that's when i my brain kicks in and kicks the hell out of that non confident introvert kind of atmosphere kicks the hell out of that and simply tells me to just do it you already did that yesterday you already took action yesterday you already went through that struggle yesterday you went through that it's a new day so what's stopping you to take action that's when i start taking action and the second most thing that builds up my confidence is to listen to some interviews whenever i wake up early in the morning i usually don't like to switch on my cell phone just for reading text messages from whoever is sending me i don't like to read those early in the morning i had that habit back in the days like but right now i am focusing on something more i try to listen to interviews i try to listen to youtube videos of other entrepreneurs who have been struggling who has struggled and who has made success i watch their videos i understand what they're talking and i keep listening to them like in my previous video i've talked about listening is far better than speaking so i i become a listener at that moment it, like right now i'm a speaker but at that moment i become a listener i had to switch i have to switch from different uh, different characteristics of uh, or different natures i had to switch from one nature okay done next then text like this i i move on from nature to nature that is how people sustain on any industry you can take the example of any industry every single person on the internet or or offline have went through the same struggles why would i waste time figure out how to resolve this when i can see someone else solving that problem on the internet i can just re replicate or remodel that into my own life that is how i i become confident and the third thing that i do every single day or every single week is try to listen to podcast or maybe like audio books now when you feel less confident when you feel down when when something is pulling you down in your confidence you should focus on a different core aspect in your life maybe you don't like to talk to somebody else maybe you are feeling that i'm not i'm not willing to answer that phone right now but maybe i'll i'll i'll, I'll call that person later on. maybe you're feeling like that that is a non confident aspect so when you try to feel that just ask yourself whether it's true is it true that i'm not willing to accept the call is it true that i don't like that person if there is a negative aspect in that person then obviously you should leave that person alone you should focus on your life your business whatever you are doing right now whether you want to create a business you focus on that instead of just focusing on those negative aspects in your life i literally have like deleted i have deleted every negative aspect that i feel is is uh, impacting my life i've literally deleted those persons i've literally deleted those apps i've deleted those youtube videos i've deleted those uh, or youtube playlist instead of videos i should say playlist i used to watch certain videos on youtube it was educational video but it was not helping me i was wasting my time in order to research something that i would hardly use on my own business it's not going to be effective so i can just i could just pay someone else to do that stuff for my business instead of just me learning that on my own and just wasting time so i i did not focus on that and that is what makes people different that is what makes people confident and that is what makes people think to take action that helps a lot in order to gain confidence and it will literally change your life if you just focus on these core concepts these three concepts listen to podcast read books or or listen to interviews and then the last one is to evade or erase erase uh, different aspects of your negative life that you feel like it's not helping you and ask yourself while while erasing those core concepts or core uh, whatever you call it like the negative uh, points in your life just ask yourself whether it's true that is literally de uh, like demotivating you 
to not take action or is it like something that you want to do it but it's it's in a negative phase so i i shouldn't like do it it's kind of something like that so if you truly feel that then obviously it's it's impacting your life take action and try to erase all the negative aspects in your life it will help you a lot trust me it it helps a lot when when you try to remove certain flaws within you everybody has flaws i'm not perfect i even have certain things that i do that i shouldn't do i still have those qualities in my life so i i am trying myself to learn those things how can i evade those how can i remove those from my life and that is how you are going to be successful in your life once you start figuring out what is it that is causing you the main problems okay so i do hope that you find value in this video and i truly appreciate most of you guys who are watching this video for weeks after weeks after weeks it literally gives me motivation to create more videos like this and share with you guys it's a it's a free world education is free right so i'm trying my best to help you guys understand what is it all about that you need in order to become successful this is the entrepreneur success habits so i truly appreciate all of you guys and i'm going to catch up with you in the next video till then stay happy and focus on the core things that you want in your life listen if you haven't subscribed yet while you're there hit the bell icon and you can also check out our instagram profile we update it daily and if you haven't got four week master class yet get it for free here and remember it all starts from you